What did I tell you, honey? Isn't it beautiful? Far away from all that high tech. Stop right there, alien. Your shepherd of the Norman. If you're looking for work, you're shouting down the wrong. The clan leader wants to speak with you. Keep your running pet on a short leash. Get him the right soon or put him down. Do you know what's wrong with him? What he needs? There's nothing wrong with him. Just go speak to the clan leader. Take your business to the clan leader and keep your running pet on a short leash. Get him the right soon or put him down. Just let me by. I have business to take care of. Either one acceptable. Also, I have been unable to access local medical records. I suggest asking the local clan leader for assistance with Grunt's problem. Halt. You must wait till the clan leader summons you. He is... in talks. You know what tradition demands. Clan Erdnot must respond. Your reforms will not go unopposed. You risk appearing weak at a critical time, Shepard. Good enough? Excuse me. <laughs> Shepard! My friend. You look well for dead, Shepard. Should have known the Void couldn't hold you. Looks like helping me destroy Saren and the Geth has worked out for you. Glad we didn't have to kill each other on Vermeer. Huh. You made the rise of Erdnot possible. Vermeer was a turning point for the Krogan. Though not everyone was happy about it. Destroying Saren's genophage cure freed us from his manipulation. I used that to spur the clans to unify under Erdnot. You abandoned many traditions to get your way. Dangerous. Speak one spoken to, Uvenk. I'll drag your clan to glory whether it likes it or not. Now, Shepard, what brings you here? How's the Normandy? Destroyed in a collector surprise attack. I ended up spaced. Well, you look good. Ah. The benefits of a redundant nervous system. Yeah. Humans don't have that. Oh, it must have been painful then. But you're standing here, and you've got a strong new ship. Takes me back to the old days. Us against the unknown. Killing it with big guns. Good times. Sounds like you've got big changes ahead for the Krogan. We are making a neutral ground where all clans are welcome. Fertile females can be shared among clans. We will strengthen the race as a whole. You threaten everything that makes us strong. It will not last. Maybe. Until then, you're lucky to be a part of it. How do you maintain security with so many different clans in one place? Any clan willing to send in hostages can come in. No fighting inside the camp. Each clan punishes its own criminals. We stop conflicts before anyone dies. Then we present a simple choice. Pay a fine and deal with your problems, or your clan is no longer welcome. That doesn't sound very harsh by Krogan standards. Allies from other clans like what I'm doing. They help deal with skeptics. Many are eager for an outlet. Every time I've declared a clan unwelcome, my allies have destroyed them. Word gets around. How do you maintain security with so many different clans? Any in one clan, way? we stop conflicts before anyone. What's dies. so important about maintaining individual clans? Every clan has different customs, rites of passage, rules of behavior, battle songs, all unique. That diversity makes us great. No clan, not even mine, 
was meant to survive on its own. Erdnot is the leading clan. Doesn't that make your culture primary? For now. But every clan assets are Erdnot. Chorgal has the longest breeding line. Gatatog holds the oldest settlement. Others have their own strengths. We keep going how we are. The clans will end up as craters under nuclear haze. Even Erdnot. We need to rethink. Restart. What's so important about maintaining individual clans? Every clan has different customs. That diversity makes us great. No clan, not even mine, was meant to survive on its own. I hope that works well for your people. But back to the reason I'm here. We don't often allow aliens to do business on Tuchunka, but you're an exception. Sounds like you've got big changes ahead. We're making a new foolishness. All of it. What did the women of Clan Earth not think about this plan? It was our female clan leader's idea. The neutral area is safe, and it encourages more female clans to ally with us. Attacks on Erdnot now endanger the females of all clans. Even clans that want to see me dead will defend Clan Erdnot. Your women have their own clan structure? Nothing is more valuable than a fertile female. We know it. They know it. They isolate themselves for their own protection. We work together to set up breeding alliances. I can hardly do anything without Clan Leader Yuta's approval. This sounds ambitious. How's it gone so far? Better than I'd feared. Worse than I'd hoped. It can't continue. You are going against what makes us strong. Sounds like you're not making friends. Traditionalists like Uvenk are chained Varen. Always fighting, guarding their pathetic stick in the ground. When the smoke clears, I can plant the flag on their corpses and rally the rest around a new Krogan hub. Sounds like you're counting on a lot of bloodshed, even after you unite. It will be slow, but I won't change what we are. Krogan are judged by the strength of our enemies. Our worst insult is to say someone's not worth killing. I hope that works well for your people. But back to the reason I'm here. We don't often allow aliens to do business on Tuchanka, but you're an exception. I'm looking for a Solarian. He was captured by the Blood Pack and brought here. My scout commander can direct you. He's probably near the perimeter running target practice. Don't take too much of his time. I need a constant watch on the other clans. I have a Krogan on my crew. He has some kind of sickness and needs treatment. Where are you from, whelp? Was your clan destroyed before you could learn what is expected of you? I have no clan. I was tank bred by Warlord Okir. My line distilled from Kredok, Moro, Shiagar. You recite warlords, but you are the offspring of a syringe. I am pure Krogan. You should be in awe. Okir is a very old name. A very hated name. He is dead. Of course. You're with Shepard. How could he be alive? I need Brent back up to speed. What's wrong with him? There's nothing wrong with him. He's becoming a full adult. Ah, puberty ritual. Common among species with hormone-driven reproductive urges. I don't care what aliens call it. Krogan undergo the rite of passage. Too far, Rex. Your clan may rule, but this thing is not Krogan. Idiot. So, Grunt, do you wish to stand with Erdnot? What does the Rite of Passage require? Not for me to say, Shepard. The Shaman will discuss that. You'll let a tank-bred Krogan join Clan Erdnot? Clan Erdnot is strong, and the others will do as I say. They see the benefit of my vision. What happens if he doesn't do this rite of passage? If he was left here, he would be killed. The clanless are not respected. A tank bred, probably more so. His disposition is what it is, right or no. That's just him being a Krogan. 
Akir didn't tell you that in the tank. Did he, boy? This is his choice. It is what I am for. Good boy. Speak with the shaman. He's over on the second level. Give him a good show and he'll set you on the path. You too, Shepard. How many times have you stepped in a mess for your crew, hmm? Good to see you, Rex. Sure you can't come with us? Wish I could, but I need to keep these short-sighted fools in line. Hunt well, Shepard. This is the great Krogan homeworld. This is the land of Kredok, Shiagar, and Viol. This chunk of rock is barely worth standing on. Never thought I'd miss the tank. Watch it, human! What do you want, human? Rex told me to be polite. He didn't say you were going to talk to me. I'm looking for a Solarian. The Blood Pack captured him and he was last seen around here. I heard about that Solarian. Poor bastard. If it's Blood Pack, then Clan Warlock has him. Sent one of my scouts to check it out, but he never reported back. Guess they got him, too. Chief told me to give you one of the trucks. Just follow the highway to Warlock's base if you've got the quads to deal with him in the Blood Pack. What can you tell me about Clan Warlock's base? Last I heard, the clan was holed up in an old hospital. I haven't seen it, though. I've only seen Clan Warlock from a distance. If I'd gotten closer, I'd have taken a shot. You get inside, though, bring a big gun. Warlock's base is crawling with blood pack. That doesn't sound too defensible. Why'd they hole up there? Any hospital on Tachanka has to be built well enough to withstand a bunch of enraged Krogan. When an injury forces us to switch over to secondary organs, things get messy. Higher thought processes don't always transition properly. Blood rage, they call it. Any idea what they're doing with the Solarian? I assume they wanted to torture him. You don't take somebody home just to kill them. It's messy. Maybe he pissed off the blood pack, and they brought him here for special treatment. No skin off my hump what they'd do with him. One less alien on Tachanka. You don't seem to have much love lost for aliens. Don't get your quads in a twist. If I was gonna kill you, you'd know it. Rex believes we need to unite the Krogan people. I don't think we can do that with off-worlders interfering, but it's not my call. What's Clan Warlock's reputation, and how are they involved with the Blood Pack? Tough humps, and they're not friendly like we are. You ever run into the Blood Pack? Mercenary gang. Clan Warlock started it, one of the only gangs with an off-world presence. They're fanatics, totally devoted to Warlock Gold. Whatever they did with your Solarian, Gold's behind it. What makes Gold so special? He's got two children. One of them is a girl. Some people think he's got a destiny. Not me. I had a cousin who won 20 consecutive games of Quasar. Lucky bastard. I'd ask my cousin for a loan, but I wouldn't swear allegiance to him. Luck. That's all it is. Same for Gold. But the Blood Pack has non-Krogan members. Like Vorcha. Ha! <laughs> the Vorcha. They're just like the Varen, only they can use guns and don't crap on the floor as often. The Krogan are the only real members of the Blood Pack. Anyone else is just there to soak enemy fire.
headed for combat. Difficult. Neutralized all hostiles. Repurposed Krogan Hospital. Sturdy, built to withstand punishment. That body, human. Need to take a look. Sores, tumors, ligatures showing restraint at wrists and ankles. Track marks for repeated injection sites. Test subject. Victim of experimentation. I don't suppose there's a way to tell who this poor bastard was? No tattoos or ID. Maybe slave or prisoner. Maybe merc or pirate. Irrelevant now. Clearly part of Krogan tests to cure genophage. Humans useful as test subjects. Genetically diverse. Enables exploration of treatment modalities. Experimenting on humans? That kind of crap is what makes Cerberus start to seem like a good idea. Never used humans myself. Disgusting. Unethical. Sloppy. Used by brute force researchers, not thinkers. No place in proper science. Krogan use of humans, unsurprising. I imagine you had to do some live subject testing while developing the new genophage. No, unnecessary. Limited tests to simulations, corpses, clone tissue samples. High level tests on Varan. No tests on species with members capable of calculus. Simple rule, never broke it. Wouldn't something native to Tachanka work better? Varan, maybe? Yes, human experiments strictly high level, concept testing. Native Tachanka fauna likely used later in development stages. 
Wise to delay you, Severin, until necessary. Powerful bite. What can you tell about their experiments from looking at the body? Position of tumors suggests deliberate mutation of adrenal pineal glands. Modifying hormone levels. Counterattack on glands hit by genophage. <sighs> Clever. Do you think they're close to curing the genophage? Can't say. Need more data. Conceptually sound, though. Genophage alters hormone levels. Could repair damage with hormonal counterattack. How are humans more genetically diverse? More variable. Peaks and valleys, mutations, adaptations, far beyond other life. Makes humans useful test subjects. Larger reactions to smaller stimuli. I know we can look much different from each other, but Asari have a wide range of skin tones. No, ignore superficial appearance, down to genetic code. Biotic abilities, intelligence levels. Can look at random Asari, Krogan, make reasonable guess. Humans, too variable to judge. Outliers in all species, of course. Geniuses, idiots. But human probability curve offers greater overall variety. Now we've got two reasons to shut this place down. Focus on Mela. Too late to help the dead. <laughs>